We're Sarah and Ben. We're on an Arctic adventure exploring the extreme north of Europe. Welcome back to Diamonds on Tour. Luleå is a city of around 50,000 people on the far north coast of Sweden. It's located on what is considered the world's largest brackish archipelago. That's water that's neither fresh nor salty. It's a city that has many significant achievements, home to some of the world's most important research into sustainable steel production, where they're making carbon neutral steel, using hydrogen to fuel the refining process. Its proximity to the huge iron ore mine at Kiruna means its steel production industry is considerable. The original town was at Gamelstad, the old town, which you will see later in this video, but it had to be moved to this new location in 1649 because sea levels dropped and made the harbour too shallow. Facebook established their first data centre outside the US in Lulio. Facebook chose Lulio because of its stable, reliable and 100% renewable electricity supply and also the climate that helps to keep the huge data centers cool. One of Lulio's famous offspring is the actor Maud Adams, who had roles in a couple of James Bond films, and can be seen here in 1965 outside Lulio's shopping mall. This mall was the first purpose-built indoor shopping mall in the world, built by British architect Ralph Erskine, and opened in 1955. The design was to bring the shopping and city life indoors, prompted by the extremely cold climate in the winter here. Other significant people from Lulio are our friends, Pear and Orsa. We're staying with them for the weekend. From their roof terrace, you can see the famous shopping mall and the quayside where our van is parked. This morning we're going with our lovely friends, Orza, hello, Pear, hello. Hi, Nick, and of course Ben's in the front there. Hello. There. We're going to a World Heritage Centre. Just uh, is it still in Lulio? Yeah. Yes. It's in Lulio. Grönlunds orilar has built this one and they, they do for, for uh, the rest of the world as well and, and very much a niche, not many, many companies build organs anywhere. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the church town of Gamelstad. It's a um, World Heritage Centre. So we're just going to quickly show you around here. It's absolutely stunning. So we have um, a series of cottages, lots of cottages, uh, that were generally owned by farmers from the area, but too far away from the church to be just coming to sit to the church and then going home again. So they had these, ch they're called church cottages, where they'd come in, um, go to church and come and rest up before they travel back home. So cosy, we'll show you in the inside of one. Um, just for you to get an idea, but really nice and so many of them. They're still used today um, They were um, they pe the people that owned them previously had to be coming to church But not so now so you can own them if you're not coming to church, but yeah, so really nice And 
just enjoying a nice little drink of glug. <laughs> glug. Nice. Cheers. 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 Where are you? There you are. Got you. <laughs> Sistian Belaget is the Swedish state-run alcohol store. People often say alcohol is expensive in Sweden, not necessarily. And at the checkout there's this box, asking any regrets, it's always empty. Hi. Hi. So, what is it that you have to do when you're in Sweden then? Uh, have a sauna. Have a sauna. So, that's what we're going to do. We've got a sauna all lined up for us. Uh, hang on. What? The sound that people probably just heard was a little hose filling up some water in a little bucket. Oh yes, it's not Ben having a little wee. It was, no. it was water going into a bucket which is going to mm. pour over the coals in a moment. Yes. So yeah, so we're having a sauna set up by our lovely friends, Orsa and Pear, um, who are currently upstairs cooking our dinner, which tonight, Ben, is reindeer. Magnificent. Mm. So we're having a sauna, and uh, yeah, we're going to enjoy this. And wait, wait there a minute. Ah, yes. Unbeknown to us, Orsa had packed us a special little surprise basket. Look what she gave us. So we've got some beer to drink and crisps and some crisps and we've got all these lovely smelly things that she's popped in that mask fantastic so we've done a lovely job so let's put the camera down and let's enjoy see. the next few minutes well i think we should show inside the sauna yeah okay but okay it'll it's a bit hot for the camera in there. Oh, okay well we'll give you a quick <laughs> look at the sauna but okay. not with us in it probably okay. okay a nice typical wooden sauna type room with an extremely hot pile of coals in the corner Fabulous. And showers. And showers here. Perfect for swelling off afterwards. And here's our bucket of water for making it steamy. Steamy hot. Oh, nice shower. Rinse off. All that sauna sweat. Nice cold water. Cool down. Beautiful. Disciplined, okay, have oh, that oh, at it her misbrukat sin Stalin. Excellent, Sarah. Yeah. Ooh, cheers. cheers. <laughs> School, as we say. School. School. We have eight in total, all the way down to little Charlie. He's very small. He's only eight months old. So he's very cute. <laughs> uh, and very small for his age, so that's extra uh -huh. cute. So they have all that, the, all the animals have large areas to roam around in. So uh, the, uh, they only are by the fence when it's feeding time. We're here at Cape Wild this morning. A uh, lovely treat. To come here to see moose and reindeer. Oh my goodness! Look who we have here. 
Oh, my goodness. So these guys can eat 40 kilos a day of oh, stuff. Oh, this is their favourite, probably. Candy. Yeah, that's nice. Is that lovely? So now we're moving to see the reindeer. They're going to be so cute. These are lovely little things.
good afternoon and uh, we're going to have a little walk now on Lulio Ice Road. Whee! It's pretty impressive. Take a look at this. Amazing. Miles and miles of places to go. Lots of people walking, walking the dogs, people on snowmobiles, there are people on skis, skates, you name it, they're out there enjoying this lovely sunshine. And we're out here with Pear and Orsa. Hello there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> to go so we've come off the ice road and we're just heading up to this little well apparently there's a cafeteria up here um, some trees it's an island so we'll be actually off the sea at that point well, I think we're looking for a barbecue area uh, for us to light a fire bought sandwiches and sausages and coffee with us that should be really nice
and Orsa and uh, it was very sad to say goodbye. We've had a really lovely, lovely time with them. Um, truly delightful, lovely people, brilliant, brilliant hosts. They've looked after us like we were kings and queens. It was just beautiful, really lovely. Um, lovely to spend time with them and uh, to do some really exciting things. We're moving on now, um, going further north. We're going to be crossing into Finland today. We will be back to um, Sweden, won't we, Ben? Uh, I think we'll be back into Sweden in about three weeks, maybe. So lovely time still ahead, and uh, we're going to leave you there. We're going to end this video there. Um, thanks for coming along with us. It's been a busy one, and uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps us out immensely, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. Two guesses for where we are.